New in Hatch 3 is the ability to map embroidery files or objects to keyboard characters in a collection. These are known as Keyboard Design Collections, or KDC for short, and they can be accessed from the lettering docker. So I'll close the Hints docker, and I'll open the lettering. I'll filter by type and choose Keyboard Design Collection. And here we can see what we have. Now these bottom three, Cross Stitch, Red Work, and Twine, are included with Hatch 3. This is one I've created from Machine File Designs. KDC designs can be used in Personalizer, Composer, and Digitizer. Now with Digitizer level, you can create your own from any embroidery design you can open in Hatch. Grade A and Grade B will always produce the best results. Amethyst was done from PES designs. So let's talk for a moment about what KDC is and what it isn't. While we do access KDCs from the font dropdown, and they appear as lettering objects in the sequence docker, for example, these were all done from the included KDCs, if I open the sequence docker and go to the Objects tab, you can see that these are lettering objects just like embroidery fonts. What's important to understand is that they may perform differently from Hatch embroidery fonts. Hatch embroidery fonts have been specifically digitized to be used as fonts in Hatch. KDC collections aren't. For example, a lot of our embroidery fonts are what we call closest join or CJ fonts, and they're designed so that the connections between each letter are optimized for the shortest possible distance. And that distance changes depending on what letters are together. More decorative fonts that we have in here are called AD fonts for as digitized. So you should think of KDCs as as digitized. Their joints are not going to change. For example, these were all created from the included KDCs. If I turn off tree view, you can see where the connectors are on these letters. And even if they're running horizontally, they would still be in the same position. On this cross stitch font, it always starts and ends at the same position, and these are not going to change. Turning KDCs into fonts on our menu doesn't make them into Hatch embroidery fonts, even though they appear on the lettering monogramming dockers and have a lettering icon in the sequence docker. So you may experience longer jumps and connectors between objects, and if you're using things like lettering art, they may not perform as well. KDC letters may also be more complex. For example, here we have one letter, and if I find it over here, you can see it's almost 7,000 stitches for just this one character. If you're mapping stitch file alphabets, you need to consider the fundamental limitations of stitch files as far as resizing and reshaping. Remember, stitches only designs do not contain objects. Now, KDCs definitely provide a convenient way to use designs. Often these designs will be individual letter designs, but just like true type dingbat fonts, they aren't restricted to letters. They could be small ornaments, they could be frames, or other designs that you like to have easily accessible. In the next lesson, we'll see how to use KDCs.